Welcome to the um, We Lock, the BU We Lock Community Forum. Um, we we want to say we want to see who's in the room. Um, we welcome you to put your name and your affiliation in the chat so that we can get an idea of who's going to be here with us spending this time. And we're going to go ahead and get started for the day. So this could be the BU Wheelock Community Forum has been a long tradition um, with the university, with Wheelock College. And we are so happy to be here at Boston University to be able to continue this, tra this tradition. Um, I am Stephanie Curitan, the Executive Director of the Center on the Ecology of Early Development. And I'm honored and thrilled to be the first research center within the Wheelock College to co-host this event. At SEED, we are committed to conducting applied research that has a racial equity focus and that is relevant to both policy and practitioners. It is our mission to plant seeds of racial justice and equity for children in Boston and beyond, which is why we as a planning committee decided on the theme for this event. And our theme is human potential transformed, social justice and equity in the early years. So before we go any further, I would like to um, begin by thanking the planning committee for this year's forum. We are lucky to have such talented leaders from our community volunteer their time at 8.30 in the morning on Monday to plan this event for our local early childhood community. You can see from the list that we have, that we're an eclectic group. We have um, advocates, educators, researchers, university administrators, social workers, alums. We, um, we are just a eclectic bunch. And it was important to have this eclectic group because we know that early childhood is an eclectic field in and of itself. Our field is comprised of people from all backgrounds coming together on behalf of children at birth through age eight. At the heart of who we were as a planning committee is our unwavering focus on racial equity and social justice for all children in all types of families with all types of abilities. So before I begin and we dive into the events of the forum, I just wanted to spend a moment to talk about SEED and how it came to be. So for the past few years, David Chart, the Dean of the Wheelock College, um, and has been working to re-envision early childhood at BU Wheelock in a way that combines the legacies of both of those institutions. And when I was given the opportunity to create a research center in the college, I thought about this deeply. I thought, how could we take the best of both and continue to move forward on behalf of children? And I was really inspired by a quote from Lucy Wheelock. The quote says, plant in the land of children, whatever you wish to see in the life of our times. And so this quote just really haunted me and I just started to think, what do I want to see in the world? And I wanted to see social justice and equity. And that brought me back to one of BU's most notable um, graduates, Martin Luther King, and a quote that he said. And his quote is, now is the time to make justice, to make justice a reality for all of God's children. So when I developed this idea of, around the Center for Seed, I thought to myself, what if Lucy Wheelock and Martin Luther King could talk to each other? What would they say? What plans would they come up with? And so today, I think that we as a group are able to engage in exactly that kind of conversation that the two of them would have had. So our speakers and presenters come from policy, research, and practice backgrounds, and we are here to have a conversation of how we can make children's lives better, how, how we can ensure that all children have equal access to high quality learning opportunities, and we're coming here together to listen to each other, to learn, and to network, and to really brainstorm ways that we can share our resources and expertise to partner on behalf of the children in our neighborhoods and in our city and in our state. And 
if you all, most of you might not know me, but I've said in public forums before that I am not a native Bostonian, but I feel so incredibly blessed and proud to be part of this early childhood community here. And I truly believe that Boston is my early childhood home. So I am just thrilled to be here with you all. So now let me get to some logistics um, about the forum. I just want to go over a few things quickly. Um, you, the BU Wheelock Forum agenda, we're going to put a link to that in the chat so that you will be able to have access to the website at all times to let you know what's coming up. The other thing um, that I want to let you know is that most of the things that we're going to do are designed in like 15 minute increments because we're trying to reduce um, Zoom fatigue. And they're also designed to give you choice, right? So there will be engagement. You will get to choose the breakout rooms that you want to go to and choose what you learn. And so there's four kind of um, sort of sessions that we'll have. One are keynotes. And these keynotes are um, invited speakers who are local leaders. We've been very fortunate to have um, policymakers and practitioners and researchers. And all of the keynote talks will um, have a moderator and a question and answer session to them. Our next session type of session is virtual poster sessions. And for these session, sessions, you'll go into a breakout room to learn more about a poster topic that you're interested in. And this is an opportunity where you get to dialogue about a specific topic and um, you get to um, choose what you want to learn about. Tomorrow, we'll have two other types of sessions, um, flash talks that have follow-up conversations. And that is a time where there will be four featured speakers in the main Zoom room giving their presentations. And afterwards, you will get a chance to choose which breakout room you go into to have a follow-up conversation with that speaker. And the other thing that we'll do tomorrow is what we call meet and greets. And again, this is a, a time where you get to choose the breakout room and the speaker that you wanna um, talk with. And it, the meet and greets are really a time that we try to create for you to be able to sort of network and get to know each other and think about how you can share information and resources. Um, one of the, a couple other things I just want to tell you about our guidelines, because we are in a virtual world, we're asking you all to please mute your microphones. And if there are any distractions in your background or if you need to for privacy, please feel free to mute your camera. Because there are so many of us here today, we are asking that you use the chat to communicate both when we're in the big main room as well as in the breakout rooms. And the last thing I want you to know, which is an important thing, is that we, we want you to move into your breakout rooms. So when, it, when we present the choices to you and open up the breakout rooms, please choose and go into a breakout room. If you have any problems, then we can help you um, and move you into that breakout room. But if you are able, please choose your breakout room for yourself, okay? And... We also have accommodations and supports. We will have closed captions here in the main room for all of our sessions. And in we, there are um, ASL interpreters for the breakout rooms in which, um, in which guests have requested um, interpreters. And so those will be listed on the, um, on the titles for each breakout room when we get to that point, you'll see. And I will mention it again when we get there. So, that is tying up sort of my loose ends that I had to tell you. And what I would like to do now is turn this over to um, our Dean David Chard, who has served as the Dean of Wheelock since 2018. And he has now been appointed as our permanent Dean of the school. Um, under, Dean's, under David's leadership, the early childhood program has been challenged to re-envision itself as a place that focuses equally on applied research, practice, and policy. And to think about how the program reaches out to become involved in the wider Boston area community. David has invested in the development of one early childhood institute, which you will hear about later today. He's also invested in a research center, which is SEED. And we are now in the process of hiring a senior level um, faculty member who will continue the work of our re-envisioning within our early childhood faculty. 
And I'm thrilled to say that we are just beginning to, to see what the world holds for us and what we will be. And I just really believe that our future looks bright. So without further ado, I will turn it over to David and um, I will stop sharing. Great. Thank you, Stephanie. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Be Wheelock. Um, it's a real honor to have a few moments to spend with you. I look forward to the, uh, the content of the forum this year. This is an event that um, in our historic Wheelock days, we were so excited to welcome alumni and colleagues back each spring for um, a sharing of information, a discussion of research and best practices. And um, this is our effort, our, our third um, effort to bring people together. Twice we now uh, will have done it virtually. And I think we're excited to um, try to uh, continue this tradition of bringing our community together and growing this, this event. I wanna just make a few comments about what BU Wheelock um, is uh, emerging as and how that relates to the theme of human um, potential transformed. You know, for, long, for a very long time, um, centuries now, we as a country have used education in particular as a way of filtering and sorting children into categories and capacities and um, linking opportunities um, to children based on whether or not they hit certain benchmarks or pass certain tests. And I think it is the value of our faculty, staff, and our certainly our alumni that we want to have a, a major impact on changing how we use education and human development experiences for children to um, elevate and um, allow them to become uh, important contributors to society in ways that um, motivate and encourage them rather than sort them and filter them. To do that, we have to transform the systems that we are all familiar with. And for, for most of us, we've been successful in those systems, but the systems do not work. They are inequitable, they are punishing. For some children, um, the idea of going to school each day is in and of itself, um, I would say, torture. And we have to work on the development of professionals and um, systems where um, children and their families are excited about their uh, attending early childhood centers or um, after school programs and nonprofit, um, nonprofit centers. So it really is what we're um, striving to be as a college, a college that transforms the systems perhaps saving the things that have worked well, but also looking for ways to make those systems better through our, both our professional preparation of our students, but also through our research and through our ongoing professional development in the field, as well as creating a college that is equitable within its walls as well. So that's our commitment. We're interested in creating um, uh, an early childhood program that also lives into that, into that commitment. And as Stephanie's mentioned, we've made some significant investments. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, we announced the launch of the Institute um, for Early Childhood Wellbeing, realizing that um, there were early childhood experts across many disciplines and domains at Boston University, from the medical campus to the Charles River campus and the Fenway campus, and that we needed a way to bring them all together. And so I'm excited to announce that um, Ruth Paris, our, a faculty member in the School of Social Work, was announced as the inaugural director of the Institute for Childhood Wellbeing. Ruth has a long history of working in early childhood. She'll be working with the Faculty Alliance as well as um, centers like SEED and leadership like Stephanie to try to really um, elevate and invigorate the work we do in early childhood in research and, and development. Um, but we're also hiring new faculty, looking to um, in grow our enrollments and programming at the graduate level, particularly around leadership and policy development. And many people on the call today have been part of helping us envision what that would look like. I just want to repeat, uh, in our minds, this is about opportunity for children, for families, and for communities to grow, which will sound like a very uh, familiar theme, both to the 
historic Wheelock alumni and um, partners, as well as to uh, folks who were have long been part of BU and the BU uh, early childhood community. So I'm excited about our opportunity to be together um, this afternoon and tomorrow. I look forward to meeting more of you and to talking about collaborative engagements and partnerships that we can grow in the coming years. And uh, Stephanie, thank you for the opportunity to address the to address the group this afternoon. Wonderful. Thank you for your comments.